beating on a Z Force 950 exhaust because I was curious to see what's in it and I wanted to show you guys. So let's see what it looks like. So I got this all peeled up so we could look inside. Now I was thinking about changing all this in here, making it sound really badass, welding it back together, grinding it smooth so you couldn't really tell it was welded back together. It's got whiskey bent tips. This is uh, Ed's old exhaust. He let me have it, and it's got whiskey bent tips. It needs cleaned up. It's not rust. It's just dirt. But it's got whiskey bent tips on both sides. So, you know, those are 100 bucks a piece. But I was looking at what I could do in here to make this thing flow better and sound way better. And then I was thinking about seeing if uh, one of you 950 owners would want it so let me know your thoughts on that down below and we'll see what we can do we'll clean all this up get all this off here grind all this stuff out of here and make it much nicer and then we'll make it flow a lot better and uh, get it all buttoned back together and unfortunately i don't have a really a way to see what it sounds like so my proposal to you guys uh, anybody that lives local to me, get a hold of me and message me on Facebook and see if we can put this on your machine and see what it sounds like after I get done modifying it. And, uh, we'll work out a deal for you to keep it. So, cause this stuff does, uh, cost me time and money on welding and opening this up and just doing stuff. So, that night, instead of giving it away, I think I could put some money back into the channel. Or we could do some trading. I do like trades. So, they're, you know, I like tools. I like all kinds of stuff. But you guys let me know what you think I ought to do. And if I ought to do it, and then do a video on what it sounds like. So, this is a lot of work. I've been working at this for an hour and a half, getting that open. <laughs> so... All right, guys, this is a short one for you today. And we also uh, was putting on a, a winch on the trailer, but I have to order a battery box because I thought I was going to be able to put my battery inside the aluminum box, but I don't have enough room. So I'm going to have to order a battery box. So we're going to have to put that video on hold. But I got the winch installed. I'm going to have a full install video on how to do that coming up soon. So there will be that. And I want to remind you guys, if you need anything at all, CF Moto parts, accessories, or even the machines, contact Main Street Cycle and let them know that Redneck Garage sent you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless.